It's Friday, February 21st, 2014. I'm Chris Sigler, and today, our very own Nathan Seichert is going to eat a thousand jelly beans before this show is over. You ready, Nathan? It's 90 seconds on the verge. We're days away from Mobile World Congress in Barcelona, and in case you haven't picked up on all its very blunt hints thus far, Samsung has now just come out and said it. The next Galaxy device will be unveiled on Monday. All signs point to a Galaxy S5 smartphone that's more fitness-centric and possibly weatherproof. Samsung is expected to showcase new Galaxy Gear devices as well. Mobile World Congress starts in earnest on Monday. Fingers crossed on that whole Nokia Android thing. Abraham Lincoln, a butterfly, and now Steve Jobs. According to a document obtained by the Washington Post, the late founder of Apple will appear on a postage stamp beginning in 2015. Other deceased icons receiving their own stamps that year include Elvis Presley and famed Tonight Show host Johnny Carson. Any member of the public can nominate someone to appear on a potion stamp, and an advisory committee of ordinary citizens reviews all suggestions. So get ready, America, for 2016. Finally, Ron Burgundy is returning to the newsroom, but things are going to get a little dirtier. A new R-rated version of Anchorman 2 is coming to theaters for one week only. The new cut has replaced every single joke from the original PG-13 theatrical release. The R-rated Anchorman 2 will be released in theaters on February 28th, before being made available on DVD and Blu-ray alongside the original version on April 1st. And that's it for today's top stories. Tomorrow, we try for 1,500 jelly beans.